Hello, Ray Rocher here at ICAST 2019. I'm talking to you for a minute about corks and rings. Um, it's, it's a product that not everybody needs, but in South Florida, we use the corks and the rings a lot to rig on our actual fishing rod. So the corks are really just markers. Um, we build them with a high quality brass insert, nickel plated. Um, some of the corks that you see today are really for lack of a better word, cheaply made. They're soft foam, uh, they have aluminum inserts, uh, not a good coating. And my problem fishing a cork like that is that once the corrosion begins, the fraying begins on your main line. Think about how much line a fish takes when he's running across the water, especially something like a sailfish or a wahoo, and he's smoking that line through this cork. We want this to be as smooth as possible, and that's why we use basically a nickel-plated brass insert on both ends. The different colors are intended uh, to help you identify which bait you're looking at. So guys will sometimes put uh, the, the chartreuse on the closest bait. You can see the pink and the orange the furthest away. So that's kind of the idea that you can use different colors. Sometimes when you're looking at, at baits real quickly, if flying two or three kites in South Florida, you kind of lose track of what bait's what. So this helps you, you accomplish identity of the bait, correlating that to the rod. We also sell them in 12 pack kit so you know you can also go all pink all orange that's also the pop popular colors if somebody's going to put all the same colors on their rods the stainless rings are the rings i mentioned when i talked about the m2 uh, kite clips they're very radius and highly polished the significance of a of a more polished ring and a bigger radius is that when you go to drop back to lower a bait down that little bit of of extra uh, polishing creates so much less resistance that you can get away with less lead on the line. So in a situation where we might have used one ounce of lead under the cork to help pull a small bait, you know, a small herring or pilchard down, we can get away with a half ounce or three quarter ounce. And also that's less resistance on your line while you're fighting a fish, especially in a fish that's covering a lot of ground. So all these things add up, the, the higher density corks with the, with the uh, nickel plated brass inserts last a lot longer and the rings just function better. So hope you get a chance to use them and I think you'll like them.